recognize uh, Mr. Meehan from Pennsylvania for an opening statement. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I knew John Thomas Decker. Uh, he was a scholar, a leader, an outstanding athlete. He's not a statistic. Unfortunately, he had a sports-related injury that led to opioid abuse and ultimately heroin addiction uh, and his death. And in so many ways, it's the name that's important because we're not talking about statistics. We're talking about real lives and families who have been struggling with addiction first and then ultimately the loss of a loved one. We have so much opportunity with this bill to do meaningful things now. As we are hearing the statistics of over 120 people a day who are dying, we must do something now. This is an ongoing process and a commitment we must make to continue. But we have so much such as this now. This is an ongoing process and a commitment we must make to continue. But we have so much such as the sports related intervention that can be done through high schools in the name of John Decker. The veterans treatment courts I worked on as a prosecutor that I have seen make a difference in the lives of those who have been struggling. Prescription monitoring that can assure that we identify those who are abusing uh, the opioids. Infant safe care. So many pieces which are going to make a difference in the lives of those struggling families. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to stay focused on these real people and make sure that we do something meaningful today. I yield back.